Man, that's exactly why you don't hear me saying real like that. Real this, real that, keep it real on real, man. Cause everybody got their own definition of real these days, bruh. That's why I be like, keep that shit pure. Cause when you keep that shit pure, you can see it, you can feel it. It don't have to be announced. I don't have to be convincing. I don't have to prove nothing to you. I don't have to go out of my way to play no role or be no character or do something to make somebody feel like they can vouch for what I did or who I am. Nah, forget what I'm doing. Look at who and what I am being. Look at what frequency I'm vibrating on. You feel what I'm saying? Keep it pure, man. Like, be you and be the real you no matter what you're going through, no matter what you face, no matter what obstacles come your way, any trials and tribulations. Be you. Don't be nobody else. Don't jump on and latch on to nobody else's energy. Don't get distracted by nobody else. Don't get influenced by nobody else. And if you do, it should be in a righteous way. But any levels of righteous influence uh, pushes you to become your own person and to gain knowledge of yourself and to tap into your God bodyness. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. See this Facebook shit? You can be anybody on there. Like, I understand people change in life, so you know, we might have known people from back in the days a certain way and they done changed now. Whether it's in the way they look, the way they look at life, what they got going on. But that ain't what I'm talking about. It's people that you know good and damn well. Soft as hell, but trying to act hard. It's people on there that say more than they say when they in people faces. Not just enemies, I'm talking about people, period. They ain't that social. It's people on there that's funny, cracking jokes, sharing funny posts, got people thinking they like real funny, like humorous, and they born as hell in real life. They just know how to control the internet. They know, you know, what's trolling, they know what's trending, they know what people like, and they want to tap into their frequency. It ain't hard to do. You know what I'm saying? You want to be a meta hoe for the metaverse? Go ahead. But I ain't participating. I'm going to use that shit for business. You know, I like fun, I laugh and stuff too. You know what I mean? But I like to uplift people and promote my business more than anything, but each his own. I ain't telling nobody what to do or how to use their Facebook. But what I am saying is stop letting, stop, stop letting it soak you dry. Stop letting it change who you really is. Stop allowing it to make you feel like you have to put on a show or play a role or seek validation that's full of fabrication. You get what I'm saying? People ain't being real them, man. They crying for help. Yeah. Like, you, if, if you good with energy, if you good with peeping intentions, like if you coming at things from a psychological aspect instead of just looking at it from always a logical or always a, a your point of view, your perception only, yeah, you can peep game, man. It ain't hard to see, it ain't hard to tell. But you gotta keep certain things to yourself to keep from judging other people, you get what I'm saying? But you will know a tree by the fruit that it bow. So when it's time to expose that tree, you have to. Because if you don't, it's gonna manipulate a multitude. So what, what kind of fool would you be or how selfish would you be to have knowledge or to know something and you don't point it out? That's what's wrong with the world today now. Nah, like we don't let too much stuff slide. Like we, like Christians don't stand up for truth. You know what I'm saying? As long as they got their hand in somebody's pocket or they're a part of something like they shutting up. You know what I mean? Men ain't standing up for women when they see a woman out there getting beat down. They be like, I ain't got nothing to do with it. That ain't my business. And to some degree, boy, I feel you. You know what I'm talking about? Because you might get shot. But you know when it's a proper time to engage and when it's not. Just like people know who the elf with and who not the elf with. Like, you know. You know what I'm saying? But people ain't doing that. Like, 20 people standing right there and you see two cops taking advantage and beating down somebody. Y'all 20 deep. Y'all know that ain't right and y'all can do something to stop it, but y'all ain't gonna do now. And the list goes on and on and on, you know what I'm talking about? So, you got a slip bucket friend, you know she slip bucket, and you know people talking about her. But she getting money though, so you don't want to rain on her parade, but you, you ain't even feeling it. But when she ain't even around, you talking about her, but you won't tell her sus. Man, once you get on your queen shit, man, you know you ain't got to do this, that, and the third. You can go about it this way. You rather talk about her or hate on her. You know what I'm talking about? Knowing you don't like her, but you being her friend though, cause she getting money and people like her, she popular. Fate, it's fate. So, I mean, 
Um, yeah, man. Just keep that shit pure. That's all I'm saying. Ain't nobody perfect. We all perfect imperfections striving to our God ability. You know what I mean? It's a process of progress. But you ain't got to be fake. You ain't got to be tapping into this wishy-washy split energy all the time because we all know that a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So it's important that we tap into our high frequency to start living an intentional life. Instead of always being on autopilot, just doing shit. Just to be doing it. You know what I mean? Just to feel voids of not knowing. Trying to seem relevant or important to people. So that's why everybody running Facebook. Like, ain't nobody keeping it pure no more. People that have your phone number and don't even call you. They won't even text you. They'll inbox you on Facebook first because they know your phone in your hand. And they know you ain't your phone ain't on your hand playing no games for the most part. You know what I'm saying? Your phone ain't on your hand cause in your hand cause you texted somebody. It's cause you're because you on Facebook. Or you on IG. Or you on Snapchat. You on some kind of app that's making you feel like you popping. And you know some people do be out there popping. Kudos to y'all that's really putting in that work or who done gained that fan base of those followers. Hey, teach his own. But like I keep saying, don't let that make you. Don't don't make that make you feel like you have to play a role and become a whole character out here stunting the front. Yeah, so yeah, I only want the pure around me. I don't care about nobody keeping it real. You know what I'm talking about? Because people keep it real based on their perception. Nigga be talking about, yeah, but it's real, but I'm looking at it the whole time like boy ain't shit about that real. 